Every year, for the last 20 years or so, one of the fifth forms of a local Austrian grammar school called Parma Plants spends one semester doing all the pool training which they need for their open water diver course in the pool at the Vienna University Sports Institute, where I have been teaching scuba diving to students since 1974. Since this is the only school in Austria which does a complete open water scuba diving course as part of their regular curriculum in physical education, Austrian television recently reported on this diving class for the fifth form which focuses on sports. Since the television team was not able to spend a week in the Red Sea with the class to report on the open water training, I have made this short film documenting the open water dives which we do every year on a liverboard boat called Golden Dolphin 2 in the Red Sea. After our arrival and embarkation, there's a short briefing and some welcoming words spoken by the daughters of the ship's owner, who speak excellent German. Since this is going to be our home for the next week, there are some very important rules that have to be followed. Zur Begrüßung wollten wir euch ein paar oh, T-Shirts schenken <laughs> und wir wollten euch auch sehr viel Spaß wünschen dieser Woche. Hoffentlich äh, seht ihr vieles unterm Wasser und viel Spaß. Next morning before sunrise, we leave Hurgada and head out into the Gulf of Suez where we are going to spend the next week. Some of the girls insist on getting up early to watch the sunrise. After a hearty breakfast, weight belts are prepared, equipment is assembled and checked, and everybody starts getting ready for the first dive.
After a final body check, the adventure begins. During the first few dives, we focus on the mandatory open water skills which the students have to complete. Luckily, they are familiar skills that have been practiced many times in the pool before we left. Skills include regulator removal and replacement, recovery of a lost regulator, Breathing from an alternative air supply, in this case the buddy's octopus. Diving a short distance without breathing to reach a buddy's alternative air supply. Sharing air whilst swimming. Mask clearing. After the skill session, there is always time to discover some of the wonders of the Red Sea. Between dives, the students log their dives. Spend time learning the theory and academics and preparing for the open water theoretical exam. Between meals we are served snacks and fruit juice and then, as is befitting for a class which focuses on sports, 
there's plenty of time for physical exercise. After a few days, preparation to dive, equipment assembly, body checks become routine. After we have completed the open water training dives, we start using the inflatables to go a little further afield and do some more adventurous diving. This poisonous stonefish trusts its camouflage and will not move in spite of being closely scrutinized by several students. During this week on Golden Dolphin 2 in the Red Sea, all the girls, without exception, completed their open water diving qualification successfully. And apart from learning the skills and enjoying the beauty of the Red Sea, they also learned that they have to be responsible and accept responsibility for their partners.